Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome back to My Summer Car. If you remember, in the last video, we replaced the flywheel on the car. Um, it was interesting and fun. We also painted the uh, yellow, well, painted the helmet yellow. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go try and recover the van, which I suspect, looking at your comments, is up near the MOT testing center. So we're going to take a drive up there. And I was thinking about how we would get to get that back. And I pretty much figured that we'd probably go on the bike or the scooter or the moped or whatever you want to call it. So we can actually throw that in the back and uh, and drive home in the van. There aren't any jobs to do. Um, I don't think the wood guy is refreshed yet, so we can't do that. Uh, just checking the phone is actually plugged in. Yes, it is. Because it's not, it's not actually rang for a while, I think. So actually, before we before we head out, let me... We'll take a couple of those and one of those with us in the backpack. We don't need cigarettes. We're good for that. Uh, should take three of those just to make sure we've got enough stuff. So I'm going to go and probably kill myself on this thing. Now, also what we're going to do is have a go at the lottery. So we'll put a lottery ticket on because that, that's new in the game now. And, um, oh yeah, that's another thing that's new. If you... Oh, I keep doing this. Hang on. Hang on. F. There we go. It's F, not E. Notice how you can't hear anything. That's the other thing that makes its helmet so deadly. You can't even hear the train. You can't hear cars coming up behind you. It's actually just completely deadly. You know what? I'm just going to take this off for a second. Remove helmet. Because I want to make sure I've got enough fuel in this thing before I go on a long journey to the shop. So we'll just put that there. And also, gonna check what time it is. Uh, another thing I was going to say is, if you actually run over a cop now, bad things happen. Oh, blimey. I don't even think the shop's going to be open to put the lottery on. Unless we're really, really quick. I think we can probably make it, maybe, if I drive like an absolute lunatic. Come on, can you just please do... Oh, okay. Oh my god, game. There's one thing you never actually figured out, and that's how to... Um, how to get on the scooter. He never really sorted that out, did he? There we go. Right, we're going to have to actually tear it to get there now. engine kill switch on or something. There we go. Fueling problem. So, if you remember what I was saying in the last episode about not being able to see what you're doing. This is now ten times harder to drive. All you can hear is the scooter. You can't hear any other vehicle on the road, and certainly not the train. Which makes it absolutely deadly if you go down the train track. And if we go on the main road, we'll look if we can keep up with it. Anyway, I'm going to try not to die. Oh, that was close. <laughs> and we'll pick it up. Up at the shop. Well, having narrowly missed a bus, fallen off numerous times, I've managed to evade death. I found it better to drive on this side of the road. Because that way I knew I could like I can see when something's coming. And that was the uh, evidence when I when I was driving along and, the, and just a standard red car uh, overtook me on the, on the correct side of the road. Because it can go faster than I can. But there's no way I would ever have he heard it. It would have just smashed me. Just knocked me over. So I think driving on the wrong side of the road is actually the better thing to do. I think the van is over here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, but this thing, oh my god, with the helmet, is just an absolute death trap. I, f I fell off like a couple of times. 
you know, because I can't see what my how how well I'm turning, and I just wow, he's completely cleaned it out. Look at that. Oh no, it got teleported, didn't it? That's right. This thing got teleported when the game updated, I think. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this helmet at all. I think it's horrendous. I wouldn't mind it so much if he would just lower the, the, the lower section of the visor. If he just lowered it down a bit, make it more realistic, and then you, you've got some visibility at least. Did that close properly? Right, I'm just going to... Actually, I can't be bothered starting that. Let's run over here and see if um, the shop's still open. Get a lottery ticket on while we're here. I see Wubbub and Dub Dub are back. Now, if he's still alive, that means we haven't won our girlfriend yet. So that's something we need to do. Yo, Timo! Timo! It's been a while, bro. Right, I believe you're now doing lottery tickets. Let's let's do this. Buy lottery ticket. Okay. So, Kieros 2 means it's week 2. If you have a perfect job for you. No, 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 I don't want to do the adverts, Timo. No, I don't want to do the... Timo, Timo, I'm going to win the lottery, mate. I don't need to do that. Shh, 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 Timo, shh. shh. I don't want to do your stupid tickets. Okay. Okay, I tell you to shut up, bro. Right. Okay, I think you should have. Three marks per week. Uh, so we get to choose numbers for week one, week two, week three. This is week two. Um, sorry, we get three tickets and it's three marks each. And this is week two. Now we can check the results. Um, the, the draw is on a Saturday, I think, at 8 p.m., I think it is. And then after that, we can use Teletext to check the results. And if we've won, we just need to bring the ticket back. If we lose a ticket, tough. So we're just going to go with two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, let's see, we've got any doubling up numbers here. That looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, bro. Right, now this is our lottery ticket. This is the important thing. We need to keep that. And that's where I'm very, very, very happy about the backpack mod. Because without that, we'd have all the faff of holding it in my hand and not being able to carry anything else. Uh, looks like he's had a bit of a restock going on. So we'll buy all of them. Those, maybe a coffee, a few more sausage, pizza, another crate of beer, a few more milk. Um, don't think we need anything from here, but I'm just going to quickly make sure we've got all of these. Okay. And the bag of stuff. Nice doing business with you, Timo, mate. Tell you what, just before I go, just to prove I'm definitely not a gambler. Um, let's put one in there. Nope. Absolute and complete and utter rubbish. Rubbish, Timo. Rubbish, mate. Just check we've not left anything down here that we shouldn't. Looks good. You know, you had it coming, mate. Have fun with that, boys. Yeah, because he's still there, it means he's not dead, which means we've not got our girlfriend yet. So um, I'd like to finish off the drunk guy storyline. And then we'll move on to getting the girlfriend, and that'll close us towards the finish, I think. Um, also, I just want to check what the darling code is. Because I've forgotten. Nine three eight nine three six two one nine. Blimey. Tell you what. Let's take a quick sc screenshot of that in Steam. In case we want because I think there's some more dial-up games you can do as well. And also when we do go to Timos, I think it'll give us some more dial-up stuff to play with. We've not played on the PC for a while. So I think we'll do that. Uh mission.
Okay, we're going to be heading back, I think. Right, sleep well. And now it's Friday night. Maybe we'll get a call. Maybe. Uh, where's the old lights? That's wipers. There we go. Actually, we've only got half a tank. Maybe we should fill it up before it closes. Oh, look. Looks like these two boys are having fun. Tell you what, I'll get out the other side. Now we're putting red diesel in the tractor, but we'll put proper diesel in this. Oh, he's closed. What a scumbag. Are you actually serious? Oh, man. Perfect timing. Tell you what, though, it's lucky I didn't jump in the van before I came over because I think he would have closed before we put the lottery ticket on. Sounds like the pub's open. There we go. You boys play nicer now, okay? I just love, like, none of them get out the car and try and work out what the problem is. They just independently try to drive away. It's just completely nuts. Um, now, I can't remember what state the kill you stuff is in. Maybe we should take a little trip via... Since we've got the van now, let's take a very quick trip via the tip and see if the bottles have been put back. Because I can't remember the last time we sold kill you. Oh boy. I don't know if I was speeding. Yeah, so you definitely don't want to kill a police officer now. Uh, because you don't just get a fine, you get an instant wanted tag. In other words, you're going to go to jail. Which is not something that you probably want to happen. So yeah, killing police is not really fun anymore. I like how you always stop me, bro. Like, you always stop me. See? No alcohol. Ha 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 ha. Suckers. Just gotta be careful when you drive away that you don't actually kill one of them. Cool beans. Do you know what? It's been a little while since I've seen the police in this game. Right, let's head to the tip. Right then. Aha! My hunch was correct. That was a good call coming here. The handbrake on. Right, I'll grab this lot. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, put all these things that we're carrying around. In the back there. We'll quickly grab this stuff and we'll be on our way. One of the bottles had kill you in it, which I uh, cunningly spotted. 
Oh my god, I just got rid of the van. Oh my god, I just got rid of the van. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I just put the van into my backpack. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, like, I just put the van into my backpack and it won't let me put it back out again. So, everything that was in the van as well, like... Well, you saw what happened. The problem with the backpack mod is it lets you pick up things you really shouldn't be able to pick up, and the van is a case in point. And now we're stuck here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it, and I'm going to hope that when we restart, the van will appear on the tip, which is, happens to be where we are, and hopefully we'll get everything back. So, yeah, let's test that theory. Well, rip. So I saved the game, re reloaded it, and the van wasn't here. So I went into the editor to figure out where the van was, and it was actually in the middle of the lake, just near the house. I have no idea why it's gone there, but I've teleported the van back, but we've got nothing else left here. The only things we have are the things I picked up, which includes a lottery ticket and one bottle, one empty plastic bottle and a battery. But everything else is gone. Like, all the bottles that we just picked up is gone. Even the, the moped is gone. The helmet is gone. I, I'm going to have to figure where all that stuff is and teleport all that back as well. So rip. Absolute rip. I, I wish I'd never come here. <laughs> That's just horrid. Okay, so yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go back to um back to Timo's shop and I'm just going to have a few drinks because right now I feel like we need to just have a few drinks I, I don't know if the bottles are ever going to come back I may have to teleport things back but I'm not a happy bunny right now <laughs> so, so let's head up to the shop oh my god this game In all fairness, it's it's the mod's fault, not the game. But interestingly, whatever it's done with the items that was in the van, I mean, it, why it put the van in the lake, I don't know. Or what it's done with the other items, maybe they're in the lake as well. Which means the game will never te teleport them back to the tip because, well, the lake is a valid position, isn't it, in theory? It's just that you can't get stuff out the lake. Oh boy. Right. Let's go and get a stiff drink. Incidentally, on the road over here, that giant antelope thing, whatever it is, just ran across the road. Oh man, because I've restarted the game, those two have um, untied themselves, haven't they? Right, let's make sure we put everything into the back of the van. Don't need to carry all the stuff around. Especially not the lottery ticket. Got a sofa so we can kick that. See? It's got the girlfriend in the back. How can he not be reacting to this? You gotta be kidding. There you go. There you go, have fun with that. Hello, what's this? You're here to make your brains forget how depressing is our life in here. This is new. Oh my 
<laughs> I completely passed out. That's hilarious. Right. What's this? Oh, there's no cigarettes now. That's new. I love this. Dude, I want to play some stuff here. I need to, like, I need to do some gambling. I need to win some money. Oh, two politicians of the coin. We'll have that. Nice payout. One coin was worth two. Two mark. <gasps> we just did it again. It's our lucky day. Another coin? What? This is outrageous. So that's six coin. I put ten in. That's not bad going. Oh my life. This is... Oh, come on. How can that not win? Oh, it has to be a coin in the end. A coin in the middle doesn't count. We did a coin on either side for 50 marks. It's a My Summer Car Death Song. Can we hold them? Come on, one more, one more. Let's do it. Oh. Unbelievable. Done. Right. Uh, let's see what you got here. I think we need to start with some sausage. Need some food. How are we doing, gents? All good? I'm hoping at some point he actually puts a microwave here because you can hear him microwaving my sausage. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a freezer dinner and he's just microwaving it for me and then charging me 20 what the heck you what mate is this some of the stuff we just lost what on earth that's so random why would it spawn it here it's like everything that was in the van, including the van, just got randomly scattered across the map. And some of the stuff just happened to be here. That's so bizarre. It's going to be like a treasure adventure, this. We're going to end up, like, finding things. That's really weird. I'll be, like, driving along and I'll suddenly see a bottle of kill you. You know what's really annoying? All those 20 bottles now... Wait a minute, that's actually juice? That's not the empty thing. That's something. Look, they're actually juice. Dude, you're too loud. Shush. That's actual juice. Which means it's been there a while, probably. Oh boy, his thirst bar's gone crazy. Um. Like the backpack. Uh, we're going to need a drink fairly quickly, mate. Can you just give us a beer? Before I, before I die. Come on, don't mess around. There we go. I had to dilute the juice. <laughs> okay, let's have that. And then we'll have another beer. Is he ever going to get up? That guy looks so well. <laughs> Best make it another one because I'm going to drink some motor oil. No, I'm going to drink some of that. You drink concentrated juice and it makes you really thirsty. Yeah, I don't know. I think, like, we've lost all those bottles now, so I'm going to have to basically build up a supply of 20 more bottles. Which is very annoying. We'll have to buy some more in the morning from Timo, I think. Okay, let's have another beer. Interesting. Right. 
It is allowed to do this, right? This is what drunk people do, right? Yeah? Like, you still take my money though, don't you? Hey? I pay everyone, you still take my money. Sell out. <laughs> right, let's have that. That's enough. I don't want to get completely and utterly trashed. Oh, by the way, did you know you can steal that? We'll have to do that at some point. I think he closes at like 2 in the morning or something. Okay, one more beer. And then we're calling it a night. I don't want to wake up in a ditch. Okay. Sleep. There we go. No. Sleep. He won't go to sleep. Okay, that's weird. What? Oh, there he goes. Wow, I thought it was booked. I bet it's like midday when we wake up. <laughs> oh boy, I'm shaking. Yo, Timo, I can't believe the hours you work, mate. Running two shops like you do. Do you know what, team? We're gonna to have to buy all those now. Oh, I bought all the sugar and everything. Oh my god. I bought sugar. Oh man. Oil filter, spark plugs. I've lost so much money. Never mind. We're gonna win the lottery, so it'll make up for it, Timo. I'll be back in a second. I need some diesel. I think I'm gonna have to park a bit closer though. Stick that in the back. Yeah, we lost so much gear. I've never had the uh, backpack mod do that to me before. I've had it. What have I had it pick up? I've had. It, if you try and pick a person up in the backpack mod, you can do it, but you can't respawn them. But I've never been able to pick up like an entire van. That's just crazy. Okay, well, at least we've got the van back, but it's been a very expensive operation. Did I just hear the green car? Right, I'm going to get some diesel. The other thing is, I missed out on any potential phone call to uh, progress the storyline. Pick up the drunk guy. Actually, it's Saturday. That means the um, that means the rally's on. Maybe we'll go and watch them. You know, you can watch the rally on the TV. That's kind of fun. It's actually really well done. Right. This takes nowhere near as long as a truck to fill up. Look how much he's shaking. Look at this. I'll put that back. Don't pay for that. Eighty-five mark. That's not bad actually. Not bad at all. Stress bar's pretty high. All right, let's drive down and have a look what's going on with the um, with the rally. Wait, is it me or is the van shaking? <laughs> How does this work? Like the outside is stable and the van's actually shaking? Wow. I think Timo sold me some Duff Diesel. That's better. Let's get this way. We've got to be careful though, because the rally cars are like flying around as well.
Put me down for the rally, mate. Okay, that didn't go to plan. I'm not going to lie, that didn't go... Oh, watch out, watch out. I probably lost half the stuff in the back again. Why are they all looking over there? They should be looking at me rallying. Like a pro. Now, the only problem is, are the rally cars coming... I think they're coming from behind us, if I remember. I think stage one comes from the town. So that's Saturday, and then stage two goes to the town. So if we hear a car, we need to pull over quickly. Oh, boy. Because they'll be going a lot quicker than this van. I think what we'll do is we'll go down to Flitari. Ooh. We'll go down to Flitari. And uh, watch the action. Like, the way they're pointing almost implies they're pointing towards cars on the other side of the lake. That's really weird. Maybe it's not started yet. I didn't actually check what time it was. Because I think it only starts at, like, 10. Oh, boy. That's a drop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That, uh, that jump there, it kind of twists the vehicle as well. Oh! Slidey McSlidey. What a lovely skid mark. <laughs> There's a sound bite for you. Yeah, we'll get to Flutari and just, um... Check out the contents of the van, see if there's any actually flown out. I'm beginning to wonder if this rally's actually on, you know. I'm not going to think. Oh, hang on, they're looking this way. If they're looking that way, it means something's coming. I've got an idea. Oi! Come here, bro. Buddy. Hey, come on. Why are you ignoring me? It took a while, but we got there, didn't we? I want to do something. I need to borrow you for a sec, bro. I can't believe not seen a single rally car. Oh, dude, your armpits. Oh, boy. I heard a rally car. I definitely heard a rally car. I don't know if we're going to make it in time. Come on, don't be shy. There you go. <laughs> nice, mate. Nice. Come on. Let's do that again. We need a few more. One's not enough. We need like a big bonfire of bodies. That's what we need. I wish I could move this car in the way again. This thing here. I'll tell you what, let's put this, uh, let's put this guy over here. We're just going to drop you there a sec, bro. They've started now. I need to need to get on with this. We need a few more dudes. The rally cars are super cool, though. Look how much he cut that bend. You said much he cut that bend then, right? Okay. Let's commit mass murder. Oof, oof, oof. There we go. It's all right. You're wanted for a very special project. 
Oh my god. Okay, that'll be enough. That'll be enough there, maybe. Okay, that, that's actually annoying. Turn off. <laughs> right, we need to be quick. We could also try to get them on the corner. But the trouble is on the corner, they're not moving that quickly, are they? And I can only move one at a time. I need to get them when they've got some speed, really. Maybe when they're... Maybe when they're coming up here, it'll be better. Let's see where they're actually running quickly. So they're flying down there. Well, they're going pretty slow at this point. Yeah, they take that corner way too quickly. Like, way too slowly for it to be fun. Let me move some things around. Right, I've been moving things around. It's taken ages because how slowly they walk. Let's just see where they're quick. Okay, they're actually still going pretty fast on that ramp. So let's try this. Let's see how we get on with this. I was trying to figure out where to put them, ideally on the bridge, but honestly, it takes so long to move these guys. Because of the stupid physics. And the rally only runs till about four, I think. Okay. That that looks pretty good. Look in this way, which means something's about to happen. I might get hit by a flying body. So the plan is like they should. I think they only start breaking about here. The last guy did. I better stand back, hadn't I? <laughs> like, what if this goes really badly wrong? <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I should be on the inside, not the outside of this. Here he comes, our first contestant to the rally challenge. Oof, oh my life! Dude, you've got skills! You've actually got skills! Do you see the recovery on that? That was amazing. He just like barrel rolled it and then just landed and went, yep. We still got a good corner going on. I swear if that has happened in the Satsuma, you'd be dead. Oh, that was amazing. I wonder if we can get a fifth body down here before the next one kicks off. I need to get a beer soon as well. I'm getting really thirsty. Come on, contestant number five. No, don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Come on. I reckon we can get this guy into position before the next one. It's got a fantastic taste in jeans and t-shirts i don't even know what that orange zigzag thing is is that his underwear like what is that about twenty past two i think we've got time i think it finished it's either three or four i think there we go that look good it's got like a nice ramp feel to it though doesn't it That's it. A nice ramp. A nice elevation. Let's make sure. There we go. Okay. Now we just wait. I had to leg it back and get a couple of beers because we're about to die. It took ages. Like, I'm not even joking. It's nearly three o'clock. So this, th this rally's almost over. I was thinking for a second... I actually wonder if there's going to be another car going to come. Right, the second challenger in the five-man rally trial. <laughs> Quite literally, five men. There we go. He's got some nice speed. He's got some good speed. There he goes. Oh, he's killed another contestant, and he's barrel-rolled at least three times. Oh, nice job. That was amazing. Like, I can't believe that. 
that was so good. He, he bar I don't know how many times he barrel rolled, but he actually killed somebody else. Is he landed? Oh, I wish there's some more contestants. Come on. We need to reset the, uh, to reset the challenge here. There we go. Wait a minute. He didn't kill somebody else. He actually took one of the contestants. He took one of the pieces of the course with him. That's what happened. Where on earth did that guy finish? Wow. That's amazing. Right, I'm going to hope and assume there's like one more. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're not finished. You can't do the four car rally challenge. Come on. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we'll just have to hope it works out. I didn't have a chance to reset it to a five. Four man rally car challenge. Oh, that was the most disappointing thing in the world. Wow. 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 It's terrible. It looks like I need the bodies are in completely the wrong place now. These guys are just asleep, by the way. Don't think I've killed them or anything. I just uh, I just knocked them out. They've had too much to drink. Right, I'm going to try and reset this before they come back. Yes, right. I've got it reset, and there's another one. There's another another contestant on the way. You can tell because they, they basically spin around. That's how you know something's going to happen. Okay, let's try and create a nice... There we go. It's like a game of... What's that? Is that game Tumblr or something? Where they have like coloured dots on the floor. It's a bit like that, isn't it? Okay, we're hoping for a better run than last time. Time before that was epic. I think this is going to be the last one, though. Come on, make it a good one. Oh, yes! Oh, he's actually... Oh, good recovery, sir. Excellent skills. <laughs> Excellent skills. See, that's way more fun. That That's what you boys come for, isn't it? Eh? The five-man rally challenge. That's what it's all about. Well, we started off by losing loads of gear and a van. And I sadly think that's definitely gone now. So we've lost about 2,000 marks worth of stuff, I reckon. But we finished it by watching uh, a rather epic rally. So I think we'll leave it there. Then we'll have to drive this thing home. Uh, sort out the kill you situation. And uh, see if we can't progress the story. Because I need to stay... We basically need to stay at home now and wait for that phone call to progress the story. The other thing we could do as well, because it's actually Saturday, we could head back and... I'm just thinking, actually. Actually, you know what? We're in the van. We could, like, we're not even that fatigued. We could actually go to the dance tonight. We could go to the dance tonight from here. We need to go over there at 8 o'clock. No earlier, though. And uh, progress the girlfriend situation. Depends whether they want to do that before or after. We uh, move Yok, the, uh, the drunk guy. Anyway, let me know what you think. Should we um, should we should we finish off the Yok storyline before we progress the girlfriend storyline? I mean, we could progress the girlfriend a little bit. We could just you know so that we get to the point where um, yeah, I don't want to spoil it in case you've not seen it. Leave, any, leave your comments in the section. Should I progress Yok, the drunk guy, first? Or should we move on to the girlfriend as well and do both in parallel? Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Hope you had a laugh with it. Take care. Until next time, try not to die in my summer car.